O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept your own beauty. You are beautiful no matter what your mind tells you. That is a fact. If you are aware of your own beauty and accept your own beauty, the opinions of others don't affect you at all. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 249, Nasdaq's up 31, SP's off 9.5. Gold, gold contract down $16.90, trading out at 2020 an ounce. We have silver down $1.27, $24.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $1.63, $70.93 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up four ticks, trading 116.01. The 30 year up 27 at 131.00. 17 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 580 ticks, trading 102057. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 134. And the British Pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. We have some heavy divergence, folks, and this is what it is. You get the SPs have been going all over the place. But yet, the dollar's up 570 ticks, and it's not affecting the S&P, because when the dollar goes 570 ticks, the bottom line is that, yeah, we've had the spread in the S&P out here today of 47 points from the highs to the lows. You're still only down seven, and that's not bad from where we are, but what ends up happening, the divergence comes in the aspect that the dollar is getting some breath behind it. So if we take a look at this, if we take a look at the SPY first off, we put this on a daily first. You get an inside day right now, and there's a big contraction going out here. Yesterday, we had some volume. Yesterday, we had, uh, that was banging out 96 million. You're only at 49 million today. If we go into the gold, you're going to see that, you know, the dollar's taking the gold south. Bottom line, you know, you, you take a look at this gold. You get, uh, you're going down with 270,000 contracts. It's going into 280, so... That's a big downdraft. There's no doubt about it. You're down 17 bucks right now. I suspect, you know, the bottom of this trading range that we're in in, in gold. It, well, first off, gold is a confirmed ABC structure up. That being said, bottom line, you're now in a complex ABC structure up because you got below the B point once again. So it means you can go to the bottom of the consolidation, which runs out there at about 1,900. We go take a look at the... Q's, because the Q's, what the Q's did yesterday, the Q's took its swing point out, took it out with volume. Big volume out here yesterday. Um, you know, it's to get a small ABC up, actually, okay? You know, you have a contraction out here today, but guess what? That this, the Q's still want higher price. That's, that's how I read this, okay? You took a swing point out, you took it out with volume, that's saying it wants higher price. Now, this is where it gets really <laughs> a deviant. Because if we go over to the dollar, well, actually, let's, let's look at oil first, because the king dollar here is also taking oil, oil, oil south. With, with king dollar going higher, it'll take every commodity south. And this, this move, to me, looks like this time, it looks like it's going to run to that 106 when we get to it for a second. So you have the oil contract down $1.63. That's trading 325,000 contracts. So... We look at that, that's, a, that's not really an expansion of volume yet, okay? But the bottom line is that when you take a look at this, oil hardly bounced at all. In fact, well, no, it did. It bounced to a 0 .50 of, the, of the, the leg down, you know, because we, we had got into that $63 area. Right now you're at 70 Now, if we get over to the dollar and take a look at the dollar, you're going to see the expansion on the dollar. Yeah. So you can see the dollar out here today. The low was 101, 304. You're at, we went to a high of 101, 102, 153. And right now, the dollar is hanging tough, man. You know, you're hanging tough up there. So what you can see, if we go all the way back to January, that's when the dollar made that low of 100.62. That's one low. The next low came in 
in April. That was a high or low. The next one came in at the end of April, which is a high or low. The next one came in in May, which was a high or low. And if this is, this is it, if this is going to go back to that 106 bottom line, what should happen is that you're going to get more selling pressure inside the S&P. And we can, we'll see how that shakes out because this S&P today, I mean, you talk about, check this out, man. I mean, this is, this is about as volatile as you can get. And this does happen. We're in, we're in a consolidation, folks, okay? And no doubt it's going to break one way or the other. And this is how consolidations do trade. That's, that's the bottom line. Now, that being said, I suspect 20 minutes ago, that bar is a high-volume bar. When we got to that, uh, we're at 41, 44 right now. That 41, 46 is going to get tested again because you did have an expansion of volume up there. Now, we'll see if the test is lighter volume. The test is lighter volume. It's going to send it right back downtown. So a little tricky out here, but bottom line, it is what it is. We go take a look at some of the higher. Oh, no, let's go to the bond market because notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. It's pretty wild, man. I mean, you take a look at this. It, it, it did 1.5 million contracts out here in the 10. You're getting closer and closer to the highs. Right now, you're at the 116.07. The highs come in at approximately 117. And we've been up here one, two, three, four, five times. And this will be the sixth time back in the last six months. You know, so if you break that, then you get a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if we look at the rate structure right now, you're at 3.3. And the high has been four. So we're off seven tenths of 1%, which is a huge move in the context of where we've been. Stay right there, folks. We'll come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We're going to be slicing and dicing these markets up. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 242. NASDAQ is up 38. S&Ps are off 7. We have the gold market uh, getting hit down here. We're down 16 bucks. You get silver off a buck 26. Platinum's off 16. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 